Greetings everyone, I am the one and only infamous Kentucky Yankee without a doubt. This is your personal invitation to join me as I continue work on my tiny boat build. This is what we're going to be getting into today. If you'll remember on the last video, we did the steering, the stick steering assembly. Here we go. Can you see the engine behind me? Oh. oh! Now we need to be able to shift gears in front of the boat and all this stuff right here you see on this table will make that possible. Most importantly, this remote control box, including new cables, and this kit which will convert our 15 horsepower Johnson from a tiller steer to accept remote cables. Some of you may be wondering why I'm not using these old Evinrude controls that I initially said I would. Reason I'm not using those old controls is because the cables are not compatible with the newer engine. From 79 up, we're all good. From 79 below, we're not so good. The engine's a 2000, those controls are probably from 1968, and I would adapt the cables some way, but it's just more trouble I thought than it was worth. I would like to reveal something to you that is underneath this bucket. Underneath this plywood. And here it is. What you're seeing is two sheets of aluminum and this PVC decking stuff, and I sandwiched it and put glue on it so it would stick all together one piece. So there it is, after cleaning up the edges, I mounted it onto the boat. That will be our pedestal for our remotes. There's a sneak preview of the remotes mounted onto our little pedestal. There is an issue with the pedestal and that is weight. The thing weighs five pounds, which is absurd. I mean, a really heavy mounting plate there. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. We may have to change it or do something different. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. It was very difficult for me to come up with the very last remote kit available on Earth for this engine. And because of that, there was no need for me to give you a tutorial on how to install this remote kit onto this 15 horsepower, 2000 model Johnson Outboard. Some of you, for the pure sake of curiosity, will want to know how this worked, so I'll tell you. This little piece was added right here. And it was added on top of the existing piece right here. The kit provided this rod, which goes from here to here, which is the shifter. And nothing had to be unhooked with the shifter. Other than that, just install the two cables, and it came with these two plates to install the cables. So it's a very simple deal, but quite effective. Something I'm going to have to figure out is this choke. They do make a primer, but it's very expensive. I wish I could just get a solenoid to kick this choke on and off. Also, there is a rubber grommet here included with a kit for all three cables and the choke. This, on the other hand, might prove to be useful for some people. This is the inside of the box where the cables goes. If you have a 1979 or newer model OMC, Johnson or Evinrude remote box, they'll all look like this. I'll install the cables and show you what that looks like. So this is it, no adjustment on this end for the cables. They just fit into these slots, and this cable will fit into the slot on this cover. The bottom one is for the gear shift, the top one is for throttle. There are two washers here and two cotter pins at the end of the cable to secure them. That's it. What about a sneak preview of up and coming videos? Ah, the front deck. Now this has been a challenge, but she's coming along nicely. And what about a detailed video of a suspension seat for a John boat? That's it for now. This boat build is fun, challenging, exciting. It's got it all. What's happening so far with this build is I'm doing things three and four times before I'm happy with something I have. The pedestal, for example, I did two or three different things. I'm still not really happy with it. I need to order some parts, some electrical stuff for this boat. I'll probably end up getting the primer even though it is expensive. Maybe I can find a cheap used one. More to come. This thing is great fun. Stay tuned.